All right, we have a question from Mr. Connor 2000, and he's asking, I'm going to mostly answer the second one. How did you get so popular, and do you have any tips on brick filming? I'm mostly going to answer the brick filming question. Why we got popular, I have no idea. It just happened. Um, no, I think, I think it's just because we care. You know, we try to do it right, and we care, and we love our fans. Now, number two. Tips on brick filming. I really don't have any ton of tips. I'm probably not the best guy to ask on specific, very detailed technical questions on brick filming, but I do have a very good tip, and it's the main one that you're going to need. So here is my tip. Start doing it. That's the best tip that anybody could ever give you. A lot of you probably are like thinking about getting into brick filming, but you're hesitant because you don't think they're going to be good enough. You don't think you have enough sets maybe, or you're mostly just too lazy to do it. If you want to do it, then do it. And if you don't want to do it, stop saying you do want to do it. That's the best tip that I can give you because most people say they want to do it, but then when it comes to actually doing the work, you don't do it. And that's the biggest problem. If you really want to get into brick filming, get in there, make something. If it stinks, who cares? Post it on YouTube. If you go look at our first brick show, it's really not that impressive. Um, the quality of the video was not that great. We didn't have the stuff. We didn't have a logo. We didn't have much stuff on the screen. And I was pretty nervous because I was talking very loudly in a room to myself and it took me a while to get used to that for that practice makes perfect it sounds stupid but it's very very true so it doesn't really matter what you're doing whether it's you're learning to play an instrument you're playing sports you're learning you're starting a business you gotta keep doing it to get better at it and so for brick filming even if like for Spire 101 um, he makes great brick films I'm, I'm not gonna recommend them because uh, there's a lot of profanity in them so I can't recommend them but I know that a lot of you watch him. His early stuff is is decent. It's not great though. But if you look at his current stuff now, over the last four or five years, he's gotten very, very good at it. And that's what's going to happen to you too. Your first, make 20 of them. If they all stink, that's fine. But look, then go back, look at your first one. Then look at your 20th one. Is it better? I guarantee you it will be better. Because somewhere between your first brick film and your 20th, you know what happened? You learn things. And you learn what worked, what doesn't work. You get better at it. You get more patient. You understand that the more time you spend on it, the better you make, the more people watch it. That's just the way it is. That's the way life works. So that is my number one brick filming tip. And you don't have to be a brick filming expert to know that one. Anybody will tell you that that is good at brick films um, or good at anything really, start doing it. Quit being shy, quit being lazy, and get your butt in gear and start making the films, okay? That's the most important thing, that you get doing the work and start learning something. You can have the, you don't need the best equipment, okay? Just use your camera that you have or get a very cheap webcam and start doing it. And it's going to be bad. The first one's going to be bad. And that's fine. Figure out. Ask questions. There's tons of materials on YouTube here and online where you can learn how to get a little bit better, a little bit better without buying expensive equipment. You don't need expensive equipment. If you're using that as an excuse, it's because you don't want to do the work. It's because you're lazy. And that might offend some of you, but it's going to help a lot more of you. Okay. Use what you have. Get better at it. And then you may actually start making some money off of them. And then you can maybe get a little bit better equipment that will help you um, with the quality maybe. But for the most part, you just need to get doing it. There you go.